next example of uh, suppose space let v is equal to r3 obviously this v is equal to r3 is a vector space with re with a respect to usual addition and usual scalar multiplication like this right here the this word that v is equal to r3 be a vector space with usual addition and usual scalar multiplication and w is the subset of v the w is the set x y z three tuple from v belongs to v or belongs to r3 such that 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 1 in the if we observe the last example this is 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 0 and if w is this set then w is what subspace of uh, this r3 or v in the last example uh, we have seen that this w is a uh, subspace of v under this condition 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 0 but if this 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 1 then what happen uh, the question is determining whether w is sub subspace of v y so w is not subspace actually w is non empty and w is subset of v so directly write this uh, the sentence directly that w is not equal to phi w is non empty and uh, w is subset of v obviously because uh, w uh, the elements uh, uh, in w comes from v that is it is a subset of v and we have the two ele uh, element uh, x y z such that this condition is satisfied by that element so we have uh, many elements having this condition so w is not equal to phi and w is subset of v okay uh, next condition we have to check whether this w satisfies the remaining two conditions of subspace so what are the two conditions the addition of two elements of w belongs to w this is the first condition addition of every two elements of w belongs to w and the second condition any scalar that is the element of r real number and any element of w its scalar multiplication belongs to w if these two conditions are satisfied by w like this that is the addition of every two elements belongs to w and the second condition is any element of w and any scalar if their multiplication that is k u bar belongs to w then we say that w is a subspace otherwise if one of them condition is uh, fails for w then w is not subspace of v so we have to check whether these two conditions are satisfied by uh, elements of w or not satisfied by elements of w so first condition now we take two elements suppose u bar is x1 y1 z1 and v bar as x2 y2 z2 belongs to w be any two elements and therefore we have that uh, this x1 y1 z1 belongs to w therefore it satisfies this condition that 2 x1 plus 3 y1 plus 4 z1 is equal to 1 also x2 y2 z2 is the element of w means uh, it satisfies this condition that 2 x uh, x2 plus 3 y2 plus 4 z2 is equal to 1 because suppose equation number 1 and 2 now what is u bar plus v bar that is x1 y1 z1 plus x2 y2 z2 so add these two elements by usual addition what is the definition usual addition so x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 comma z1 plus z2 this is the addition again three tuple now we have to verify whether this u bar plus v bar belongs to w or does not belong to w so when this u bar plus v bar belongs to w if 2 into x1 plus x2 plus 3 into y1 plus y2 plus 4 into z1 plus z2 is equal to 1 then this element belongs to w so consider 2 into x1 plus x2 plus 3 into y1 plus y2 plus 4 z1 plus z2 and then multiply by 2 multiply by 3 and multiply by 4 in bracket and then collect the uh, terms 2x1 3y1 plus 3y1 plus 4z1 in one bracket and then plus plus sign 2x2 plus uh, uh, 3xy2 plus 4z2 in another bracket and the value of this bracket is 1 by using this equation number 1 and this is equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 not equal to 1 and therefore u bar plus v bar does not belong to w because when u bar plus v bar belong to w if 2x1 plus x2 plus 3xy1 plus y2 plus 4z1 plus z2 value of this quantity is equal to 1 but it is not equal to 1 it is equal to 2 it is not equal to 1 and therefore u bar plus v bar does not belong to w and therefore we cannot say that uh, this w is uh, then we what we have therefore u bar plus v bar belongs to w is not true for all u bar and v bar belongs to w and therefore w is not subspace of v that is w is not close for addition addition of each two element of w 
not necessarily belong to W and therefore W is not subspace of V. And we can give this uh, answer of this problem by using counter example. That is we have to show W is not a subspace and that is the, this condition that addition of two element of W not necessarily element of W. We can uh, uh, prove this uh, or uh, this condition by using counter example. So uh, we take two elements u bar as minus one one zero and v bar as minus three one one belongs to W. The any two element. Why these are the element of W? So we have to take the two elements. We have to give the counter example. It means we have to show that the addition of two element of W are is is not element of W. Okay. So first take two elements from W. These are the element from W minus one one zero. Why? Because this satisfies this condition: two into minus one plus three into one plus four into zero is equal to one. Two into minus one is minus two. Three into one is plus three. Minus two plus three. Four into zero is zero. So minus three plus uh, four plus zero is what is one. So this minus one one zero is the element of W. Then minus three one one. This is also the element of W. Why? Because two into uh, Minus three is minus six. Three into one is a plus three, and four into one is plus four. So minus six plus seven is again one. So minus three one one satisfies this condition that two x one plus three y one plus four z one is equal to one. So these two are the element of W. That we need two elements from W and W. So where, why this element belongs to W? Because it satisfies the condition four into minus three. Uh, two into minus three plus three into my, uh, plus one plus four into one is equal to one. Also, this is the element of W Y because uh, uh, two into minus one plus three into one plus four into zero is one. Now, what is the addition of U bar and V bar? So U bar is minus one one zero plus V bar is this one, minus three one one, and so addition is minus four plus one plus one, and this is not the element of W because two it does not satisfy this condition. Two into minus four Plus three into two plus four into one is what? Minus eight plus six plus four is two. It is not equal to one, and therefore minus two four one does not belong to W, and therefore U bar plus V bar belongs to W. For all U bar and V bar belong to W is not good. This condition is not true for W. That U bar plus V bar belongs to W. For all U bar and V bar belongs to W. This condition is not true for W. And therefore, W is not subspace of V. So we can uh, give the proof of this condition that addition of two elements of W does not belong to W like this or like this. That is by using counter example. And the second condition also is not satisfied for the this step. We can also give the answer of this problem like this. That is, take U bar as minus one one zero belongs to W as the element of W minus one one zero. And take uh, k u bar k take k scalar as phi. So phi into minus one one into one is this. And as this element is not element of W minus phi u phi u zero because it's two into minus phi plus three into phi u plus four into zero is what minus ten plus fifteen plus zero is phi u is not equal to one. And therefore, therefore this element you uh, this uh, this condition is not satisfied that the any scalar and any element of W its multiplication belongs to W. Or we can also prove that zero zero element does not belongs to W because what is that zero zero element uh, of this R three W is U bar is equal to zero 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 and what is the condition two into zero plus three into zero plus four into zero is zero is not equal to one therefore zero vector does not belongs to W and therefore W is not subspace of V because we know that when W is subspace of V. If W is itself a vector space, and if W when W is itself a vector space, if W satisfies ten properties, that is the this is the property number uh, A three. So zero vector must exist in that W, but zero vector does not belong to W. And so uh, we can give the answer here the answer of the problem. This is the first method up to this. This is the first method. This is second method by using counter example. We show that U bar plus V bar. Belongs to W for all U bar and V bar belong to W. This condition is not true for W. This is the third that K U bar belongs to W for all e, U bar belongs to W and for any scalar K. This is not true. We can give the counter example and also we can show that uh, another. This is the uh, fourth way 
that zero vector does not exist in W, zero vector does not belong to W, and therefore W is not subjective. So we can give the answer of this problem in different way. So uh, here the problem is this that if a 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 0, then, then uh, the uh, set W is subspace of V, but it is equal to 1. 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 1 or is equal to 2 or is equal to 3 is equal to minus 1 other than 0. If we, there is another, another number other than 0, suppose there is a 1 or minus 1 or 2 at this place, then it is not subspace. So if it is equal to 0 in the place of 2, 3, 4, there are another elements. Suppose uh, all these 2, 3, 4 are equal to 1. That is x plus y plus z is equal to 0 is the condition. Then also W is subspace of uh, R3. But if the is equal to 0 in the place of is equal to 0, it is non-zero element, either negative or positive, any non-zero element, then it is not subspace of V. So remember these things, that is is equal to, and in the place of 2 and 3 and 4, we have any another number, that is take arbitrary as ABC. Suppose that V is equal to R3, W is the set of X, Y, Z belongs to V or R3, such that AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to 0, where ABC are any real number may be positive, may be negative, all are equal, all are uh, different, then show that W is subspace of V. So, so instead of this uh, 2, 3, 4, if we take any real number, A, B, C, then also, but is equal to 0. Remember that, is equal to 0. Then also the, uh, the set W is a subspace of R3. So in the place of X, Y, Z, if you take uh, in the coefficient of x, y, z are equal to 1, then x plus y plus z is equal to 0. This is also the subspace of R3. So this is the general example, generalization of that example, that v is equal to R3, and w is set x, y, z belongs to v, such that x plus b, y plus c, z is equal to 0, where a, b, c, r uh, uh, belongs to r, means any real number, then show that w is subspace of v. So this is the generalization of this example. So in uh, in order to answer, we just write 2, 3, 4 by A, B, C in this example. So we get the answer of this problem. Just write 2, 3 and uh, 4 as A, B, C. So first condition, uh, write directly that clearly or obviously W is non-empty and W is subset of subset of V. Now we have to show the two conditions like U bar as X1, Y1, Z1 and V bar as x2, y2, z2 belongs to be arbitrary element. And this u x1, y1, z1 is the element of w, means it satisfies this condition that a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 is equal to 0, equation number 1. And so this x2, y2, z2 is the element of w. So we have a x2 plus b y2 plus c z2 is equal to 1 by using this condition. And then now what is u bar plus v bar? Addition of these two elements, x1, y1, z1 plus x2, y2, z2 is what? x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 comma z1 plus z2 usual addition and now we have to show this is the element of w so consider a into x1 plus x2 plus b into y1 plus y2 plus c into z1 plus z2 and it is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 then we say that x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 comma z1 plus z2 belongs to w so consider a in, in bracket x1 plus x2 plus b in bracket y1 plus y2 plus c in bracket z1 plus z2 and it is ax1 plus ax2, right, multiplied by a, b, c in bracket, and then collect the terms ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 in one bracket, and then ax2 plus by2 plus cz2 in another bracket. And the value of this ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 is 0 by using 1, and the value of ax2 plus by2 plus cz2 is 0 again by using equation number 2. So 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, and therefore u bar plus v bar belongs to w because it satisfies the condition. And therefore we say that U bar plus V bar belongs to W for all U bar and U bar belongs to W. Because these U bar and V bar are any two elements of W, arbitrary element of W, and the condition satisfied for arbitrary element, therefore the condition is satisfied for all elements. So we say the condition is satisfied for all elements. Then next condition, we'll take one element of W, suppose X, Y, Z, as the element of W and K be any scalar. Now we have to show K into U bar belongs to W. K be any scalar. 
Then uh, as the x y z belong to W, we have x plus b y plus c z is equal to zero. So for the equation number one, because this x y z is the element of W, means it satisfies the condition. Then consider k into u bar is k x y z is equal to k x comma k y comma k z. This is by using the definition of scalar multiplication. And then now we have to show this k x one comma k y one comma k z one below not z one. K x comma K y comma K z. Where to show this K x K y K z? This element belongs to W. When this element belongs to W, existing uh, present in W, if it satisfies the condition, that is A into K x plus B into K y plus C into K z is equal to zero. So consider A into K x plus B into K y plus C into okay C into K z. Either write uh, x1, y1, z1 as the element of W. So write here x1, y1, z1. Suppose then uh, we have a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 is equal to zero. So write k u bar as k x1, y1, z1 as k x1 comma k y1 comma k z1. So then consider a k x1. Write here x1, 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 x1. All suffix are one. Uh, now then take u bar as x y z or x1, y1, z1. So we consider a x1. A K X one plus B K Y one plus C K Z one. So take K common. We have X one plus B Y one plus C Z one, and it is equal to zero. And so K into zero is zero. And therefore we say K U bar belongs to W for all U bar belongs to W and for any scalar K, because it satisfies this K U bar satisfies the given condition of W, and hence W is subspace of B, because W satisfies the two conditions. W is non-empty. W is subset. And W satisfies these two conditions of subspace, and therefore W is a subspace of vector space V is equal to R. So this is the generalization of the previous example. Next example, V is equal to R two. W is the set X Y belongs to R two such that X square minus Y square is zero. Determine whether W is subspace of V. So we have to show whether We have to determine whether this W is subspace of V. So when W is subspace of V, if W satisfies the two conditions, that is the addition of element of W, any two element addition of any two element of W belongs to W, and any scalar and any element of W, its multiplication belongs to W. If one of them condition fails for W, then W is not subspace of V. So, if in order to show if W is not subspace of V, we have to give the counter example for either condition number one or condition number two. So, here the take U bar as four four. Why this element four four belongs to W? Because four square minus four square is sixteen minus sixteen is zero. Also, the element three and minus three belongs to W. Take as U bar. And why this element three minus three belongs to W? Because it satisfies this condition, x square minus y square is equal to zero. Three square minus minus three square, so three square is nine, and minus three square is also nine, and nine minus nine is zero. So these two are the element of W. And then what is addition of u bar and v bar? It's four four plus three minus three, and the addition is uh, seven and one, seven and one. And this is not element of W because seven square minus one square is not equal to zero. Okay. And therefore, addition these four, four, and three, three minus three, are the element of W. But their addition does not belong to W. And therefore, U bar plus V bar belongs to W. For all U bar and V bar belongs to W is not true for all U bar and V bar belongs to W. It may be uh, true for this condition. May be true for some element. If you take U bar as four, four, and V bar as three, three, these are the element of W. Then U bar plus V bar is what? Seven seven and seven seven is the element of W. So we have to uh, pick up or uh, take the example. Uh, we have to take the values of U bar and V bar such that U bar and V bar are the element of W, but their addition does not belong to W. Now we have to find the counter example. So this is the counter example. So uh, don't take as U bar as four four and V bar as three three, or don't take U bar as four four and V bar as minus three minus three. You could take U bar as four four and V bar as minus three minus three. Then their addition is what? One one and one one is the element of W. So we have to take the element of uh, W in a such a way that they are element of W. 
U bar and U bar are element of W, but their addition is not the element of W. And these are the this is the example of uh, counter example. So uh, next example is again of the type V is equal to R three. W is what is the set of uh, uh, three tuple X Y Z belongs to R three. Some element of R three such that X is zero or Y is zero. So what are the element of W? Either X coordinate is zero or Y coordinate is zero. For example, what are the element of W? One zero zero one zero one one zero one zero three. These are the element. Or take I X I zero or zero four five. These are the element of W. If X and Y both are zero, Z is non-zero or zero. Then also the, it is the element of R two. X is zero or Y is zero means what? Either X is zero or Y is zero or both are zero. So for example, zero zero four is also the element of W. Three zero five is the element of W. So this U bar and V bar are the elements of W. But what is their addition? What is their addition? It is the element zero 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 four plus three zero five is three zero nine. And this is the element of W. Means this is not the counter example of W. And for this, from this example, we cannot say that the addition of every two element of W is the element element of W. This is true for these two element, and then we cannot say it is true for all element. For example, we take this element, this set, this element. U bar as zero one four, and V bar as three zero five. These are the element of W because in this place, in this U bar x coordinate is zero, in this V bar y coordinate is zero. Is one of them must be zero. So these two are the element of W. But what is their addition? Zero plus three is three. One plus zero is one. And four plus five is nine, and this is not the element of W, and therefore W is not close for addition. That is, the addition of every two element of W does not belongs to W, and therefore W is not subspace of it. So don't write this example. Write this example as a counter example. So this is the counter example. Don't write this as it is for uh, justification that we have, how we can write the exa counter example. So we have to take two elements from W such that their addition does not belong to W, and therefore the condition first fails. And we have to uh, give the counter example for the condition number two, that is the uh, some element of W and some uh, scalar uh, k, their multiplication does not belong to W. For example, uh, this example, if we consider this example as the two x plus three y plus four z is equal to one, so this is the answer. This is the counter example for addition. In some example, both the condition fails. That is, the addition of uh, uh, two elements of W does not belong to W is also fails, and this condition also fails. That is, the uh, scale, uh, some element of W and some scalar their multiplication does not belong to W. So in this example, both the conditions are fails. So we have to write. Uh, a counter example for any one condition, right? Either this example or like this example as a counter example, right? U bar as minus one one zero and k u bar k take k as five. So five into minus one one zero is minus five five zero, and this is not element of W because it does not satisfy this condition. Okay, and therefore we can say that W is not subspace of U. So in some example, both the condition fails. In some example, only first condition fails. For example, in this example, the second condition is true for W. That any scalar and any element of W, its multiplication belongs to W. Because if you take this element, suppose uh, V bar as three zero five, and K as a uh, scalar five, then what is five into three zero five? Is a fifteen zero twenty five. That is, uh, we have k k into zero is zero, five into zero is zero. So the second condition is true for this W, but the first condition fails. That the addition of every two elements of W does not belong to W, and therefore we have to write the counter example for the failed condition. That is either the condition number one fails for the example, or the second fails for the example, or both. In some example, both the condition fails for the example. For set, so we have to write counter example for mm, uh, the condition which fails for the for that sub uh, subset. Okay, so we will see the next example of subspace in the next lecture.